Is this the first time you'll be playing two games in five days? Yes, <laughs> I believe so. So. How does that affect your wanting to watch the first game, be excited to get out there for the second game, build off what you learned? Like, are you glad it's so quick? Yeah, I mean, I don't mind it. You know, I was telling the guys, I think it's kind of nice how you can just knock out two days of practice, get everything in, um, and go play, you know. Um, you know. We had a great day today on our base down and third down combined. So uh, a lot of ball plays we ran through today, but um, we're dialed in. Uh, Got to have a great, great two days before Thursday. When you left the field or when you reviewed the film, it's probably a better question. What what are the one or two things that you're most eager to? I learned that now. I can't wait to improve that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say, uh, you know, just chilling a little bit in the pocket. You know, don't try to extend too much when not needed. Um, listen to your feet. And then um, at every, just maintaining elite focus every single rep throughout the game, no matter the score. You know, take completions and, and move the chains. Can I ask a question? Could you, can, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I ask um, if, if you can do more, if, or if he can open things up a little bit more for you in game two, he said yes. Um, what more can you do? What's the next thing for you? And how much more of the offense could you now be seeing this week? I'm guessing you're looking forward to that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we, we ran a lot of offense in this last game. You know, mm -hmm. I don't think Clint's holding back at all. Um, you know, that wasn't our plan going into it. You know, obviously, um, each of us had to prepare at a high level in, the, in this system. So, um, you know, can handle everything as a group. I think, um, you know, got a lot of young guys playing this game. So. You know, not a lot of time this week to put a ton of stuff in, but we got a lot of, a lot of good stuff in. So uh, we could open up and, and, and do whatever Clint, Clint thinks will work. We trust him. He's a great coach, great mind, and we just got to go out there and execute. What was your range of emotions in that game? I mean, do you feel like there was some time where you were a little bit up too, too high, a little bit too low, and if there, are there things you want to carry over from that? Or you know, were you, did you feel like you were as even keeled as you needed? Yeah, I felt great. You know, I think... Your emotions go up and down throughout every game, at least myself. You know, when we score, we're, we got to celebrate, be excited. But as a QB, you want to stay cool, calm, and collected, but you want to show some, some energy out there as well. So um, through the good and bad, you got to show a good face and keep, up, keep going out there and battling. You can't uh, put your head down and, and wimp about anything. So uh, it's a next play mentality every single rep. How, I know it's simplistic to say they saw what you did in the first half and they took it away in the second half. How, how much truth is there to that and, and how much, you know, what's the other explanation? Um, yeah, I mean, they had a really good defensive coordinator, obviously. Uh, Todd Bowles has been doing it a long time. Um, we got great coaches too. Um, so, you know, we, we as players, we got to do a, a good job of executing our plan in the second half and then, you know, communicating with our coaches, you know. So, um, just got to go out there, and I know it sounds repetitive, but we just have to execute. You know, the teams are going to adjust on us all the time, so we have to be able to adjust with that as well. This well, week you got another really good defense coming in. The Broncos rank top five in the league in total and scoring defense. When you watch them on film, what maybe stands out the most about why they're successful? Yeah, you know, they got talented players, you know, all over. Um, really good front. They're going to show us a lot of coverages and blitzes on third down specifically. Um, so... We have to have a good plan. I think we have a good plan. And um, we have to keep practicing it for the next 40 hours or so, 48 hours, and just be dialed in into the little details. It all comes down to the little details. And you mean, kind of the transition to the NFL level, is the, the quality of the defensive back play difficult to kind of just reset in terms of, hey, this is a throw maybe I could have made in college. It's that you can't really get away with the same type of throw in the NFL. So that's something that you have to adjust to. Um, everybody's good at this level. You know, the funny thing is, not funny, but same dude that was at Georgia last year picked me off in this game. So uh, I was seeing a lot of talent, obviously, in the SEC, but this is the NFL. You know, these guys are good at every position. Um, so you have to respect that, but also attack them. You know, you can't play scared. So uh, we're not playing scared. You, you didn't see You referenced uh, the gap in the game. He, like, kind of told Bub his opportunity was, was coming. Um, like, what made you see that? What, what practice made you see that? Uh, yeah, obviously, sure that. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, I've been able to get a lot of reps with Bub since OTAs, you know, obviously coming in, same same draft class, uh, both rookies. Um, he's really elevated in practice just with little things like blocking. You see him just flash on film to get a backside block on a backside safety, which is not an easy thing to do. Um, so he's really, and he's such a smart football IQ guy. 
like knows knows his job, knows the details, and is going to give full effort, you know, all the time. So to be able to see that, um, you know, another fellow rookie is good to see, and I, I trust Bub. Do you feel a little more comfortable this week just have, having gone through an NFL game and having actually experienced it? Do you feel a little more comfortable, a little different this week? Or, you know, it's not a whole week, but yeah. you know what I mean. A few days. Um, yeah. No. Um, I think some of that, yeah, you know, you, I think getting the game under your belt helps a lot with live reps, live bullets. You know, it's been a long time since I got, you know, live reps, getting hit and stuff like that, a full game. Um, but, you know, it was great to be out there. Um, obviously, you know, won't take that for granted. Um, but, yeah, you know, definitely not comfortable, but because you got to stay focused, but definitely a game under your belt helps. What was your, what was your favorite play? Oh, there was a few. There was a few. Um, you know, I like that throw up to Juwan in the, in the seam. You know, I think Juwan played a great game, a lot of good plays to foster. Bub, um, probably the touchdown. That was a fun one. A couple good runs. You know, the guys, guys made plays, so um, it's hard to pick just one. Who kept the football? What's up? Who kept the football? I got the ball. I got the ball. But uh, I'm sure they got Bub something. Then, I don't uh, think that we got the then, chance to ask you about it, but right off the bat at the very beginning of the game, it was a play action pass to Juwan Johnson over the middle of the field, so 27 yards, I think it was. How, how much did you appreciate, or how much did it mean to you to have that trust from your OC right off the bat? Yeah, I loved it. You know, being able to move that pocket the first play and get an explosive play um, was great. Now, the next step is the next play. Don't be too excited and too anxious to throw the bubble out there. Get the snap and, and, and don't drop it. What was the quickest turnaround you ever had in college? Um, I, I'm not sure, honestly. I think it was just a week-to-week -week thing. We never really had two games in a week, if I, if I can remember. Um, but, you know, this is obviously something brand new to me, and um, we're going to get through it. On the uh, big explosive with Foster, was he supposed to – Clear the plate completely across the field. Did he just kind of recognize the coverage and settle into the scene there? Yeah, a lot of those uh, we improvised on them, so that was good to, you know, good to see out there. You know, I would say three or four of those we, we improvised, and he he did a heck of a job feeling that, and uh, you know we were kind of just on the same page. Yeah, I, like that was kind of what I was going to ask about. Is like uh, how I, I, how quickly did you guys have to kind of develop that that trust and feel? Like, yeah, obviously. You know, Stuff yeah, that was the first time it happened. Yeah. So it's a good sign, I hope. Did you? How, how long did you recognize he was, that was coming open before you threw it? Because it looked like you were selling it. But did you? <laughs> kind of just feel it. You know, there's not no description for it. You just feel it, and you, and you make the play. It was smart by him, and, um, you know, had time to give him the ball. Um, you and Bo Nix, in a sense, were drafted right next to each other. <laughs> um, <laughs> Did, did you spend much time with the Broncos since they were in the quarterback process or, or like? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had an official visit with them, private workout, everything. Um, you know, we did a lot with them. Um, but, you know, it's cool to be able to go out there and uh, be on the same field as Bo. You know, obviously coming out, same class of high school, been around each other since high school, you know, competing at camps and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. excited to go out there and play. You've been watching his. I know, he, I think he started with like no touchdowns and four picks early and now it like quickly got in the group. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's different for everybody. Um, you know, everybody's going to – it's not easy to just come in here and succeed, you know, off the bat. So, um, you know, like watching all these rookie quarterbacks play and kind of see how they're managing the game and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, uh, respect both. When you watch him, what is, what is the thing that sticks out to you? That's what he's really good at. Yeah, I mean, he's athletic. Um, he can move around, make plays with his legs. Um, very smart player, high IQ guy. I um, know he's a coach's son, so been around the game a long time. Um, and then, you know, one thing I respect about Bo is, you know, he started in the SEC, uh, battled through adversity, went on somewhere else and, and was successful as well. So respect that about Bo, um, you know, have similarities with him in that, that way. Um, so I got to respect that. When the uh, when Sunday's game ended, you know, and you go through your phone and you're processing and hearing from people um, that are close to you and so forth, as well as maybe other people you came up with in the game, was there any uh, feedback that you got that really kind of stood out or was unexpected or something that you felt like, you know, it resonated with you and you'll carry it forward? A ton of great feedback, you know, from, from a lot of people, you know, uh, former players, coaches, um, a lot of positive feedback. So um, really hopeful, excited, uh, got to get better. So, but a lot of good feedback. Anything in particular that stood out? That... Some stuff, but, you know, I'll, I'll keep it to myself. <laughs> 
Thank you, guys. Yep.